Hello guys and welcome back into another video. My name is Potato Name Charlie and today we are on YouTube strangely. Somehow we are not driving any car but we are just watching some videos. <laughs> well basically I was watching how my channel is doing and first of all we are very close to 2000 subscribers so please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. What are we watching today? So if we go back to the beginning of the channel we, we see a lot of red videos basically they are branded differently because this channel used to be another channel car discussion channel not really a sim racing channel but there yeah then it became a sim racing channel i said channel too many times uh, well i noticed that this video was privated i didn't know why i just watched it and after the first minute it seemed like a decent video so why not watch it together so this is the video what we can see already was that i uploaded this video when the channel was dying this video was uploaded before the channel became potato named charlie and was uh, car videos for people or something and yeah it only got 30 views and 9 likes because I think that I didn't upload for a couple of months and then and uh, also I remember putting it private after the video has been uploaded so okay <laughs> the first thing that I'm noticing is the Gran Turismo music uh, I remember yes, yes I'm back oh my god this is, was my voice <laughs> at the time to make it as fast as uh, I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, but today I wanted to see how good of a sim racing am I. Of a sim racing? At least of a sim racer, right? Yeah, I feel like in almost every video I remember that I'm not a native English speaker. With a lap time of 2 minutes and 50 seconds at Mount Panorama. Okay, I must have chosen Mount Panorama because it's my all-time favorite track, because I played it so much on a lot of games. At the time I didn't have a, a steering wheel like I have here the G920 that I own right now and I didn't even have a decent controller I had the PS3 one that I borrowed for my actually I think I still have it here it is this is was the controller that I was using in the video and one of the thumbsticks fell off uh, because I don't know and yeah after like one month I switched to the Xbox series controller so this thing if for sim racing in general is like a thousand times better than the ps3 one but yeah buy buy a logitech like i have right here and a lot of time so subscribe because it takes me a lot of time to make this video yeah actually that video somehow took me a lot to make okay it seems that at the time i was choosing some decent songs for the videos <laughs> not like i'm doing it right now okay what i'm seeing right now my old computer <laughs> recording that vi the video on that thing it was like like the fans were always full blast and was lagging yeah. yeah here was like making a tutorial on how to use the ps3 controller on the pc actually the driver itself or whatever it is worked amazingly like the controller had no problems but it used a lot of ram like very high amount of ram if i remember it used like a lot of cpu power but maybe because the my old computer was a bit underpowered so maybe that's why it was using a lot yeah as you can see i was only doing like 35 fps i was only doing like 35 fps recording actually i remember that I, I remember that playing the game it did like 70 fps no problem but when recording it did like 35 so somehow Actually, I'm curious to see, like, it almost a year has passed since uploading this video. I'm wondering if the, t the lap times are still the same of on the blank, blank paint GT3. Or. Actually, was making a bit of decent editing. Oh, what am I seeing here? What well, basically, this is. I started an Instagram page about cars and it was like based on the channel like you had the channel and the Instagram page and they like worked together but actually the the Instagram page got like 2000 followers after not that much now it's basically that yeah the channel got a different path so the 
Damn, I was really making some decent videos at the time. I really like wanted to make videos. It felt quite great, even though I didn't feel very connected. Like I don't think that you can see it from this video, but that controller was a bit twitchy, like it couldn't keep the thumbsticks straight. So I'm not sure if you can see it really well, but I was, I was I'm having a lot of troubles keeping the steering wheel straight. Yeah, actually the recording was a bit decent. It was just a gameplay that was not that great. Even though it was quite hard to control, trying to make a smooth line is basically impossible. So in the first lap, I was always going out of the road or hitting the corners, as you can see from here. What was bad for? What I'm noticing is that the bitrate was very low. Like, look at this. At some point, you can see like the individual pixels. I'm. I'm glad that I moved to better quality. <laughs> okay, I was doing a lot of mistakes. So oh my god, look at the lag. <laughs> I remember that I said that... Uh, yeah, 2 minutes 27 is like bad. <laughs> it's really bad, but... Like for me at the time, I, when I just started, it was like not too bad. While... Like uh, right now I don't know what time I will sell because I'm not doing a lot of grip racing anymore, I'm trying to learn drifting. Yeah, if I remember correctly, that, it was finally time to try the I said that the McLaren was bad. This car felt horrible. Yeah, I said that it was bad but was actually bad. it was like the best car. Like right now if I right now if I got into a set of course and had to make like straight lap a hot lap. Uh, I will do much better with the uh, McLaren because I think it's the better car right now. Yeah, they should all be equal, but I don't know. It's a bit easier to drive on the limits. Alright. It was, it was a big uh, jump from I don't know what. 2 minutes 15. Alright. Which was again the fastest lap I ever set. Yeah, my problem when I started sim racing was that I was not really consistent. I was doing like a fast lap, then a slow lap, then a fast lap because I was making too many mistakes. This Audi is feeling incredibly great. Even though 2 minutes and 50 seconds is still a quite slow lap, it's not at the same level of a lap made with a, with a proper steering wheel. And okay. So, okay, I think that now that I finally have a steering wheel, I want to challenge myself and I'd like to do a video which is going to be the part 2 of this video where I'll try to beat the fastest lap that I will set here. I don't know what is the fastest lap I'll set here, but I'll try to beat it with uh, now that I can at least. If you like these videos, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because more of these videos are... Okay, this song, I remember using it. But now it's time to set some truly Oh my god, I can't believe it. If you like hear very closely, you can hear the the fans from my old PC like First of all, blasting off. To my friend Rio for making me install the content manager yeah, and the custom shaders. Part. On this screenshot he was like at 160 subscribers. Now he just hit 1k, so go say congrats to him. Now the game looks much better, even though it's quite harder to run. Check out his channel, he has some very great drifting content. Okay. The video is looking quite bad at, at this moment. Almost two minutes and twenty. Now I can see the shadow of my past laps. This has been the key for setting my fastest lap. And I was also able to drive with lower ABS and lower traction control. Okay. And while playing, I noticed that my controller sometimes wasn't registering the accelerator, or sometimes it was registering yeah, the brakes, even though I was. I remember that. Brakes, and it started to become a big problem for me. Okay, the final lap, let's see. Okay, should I should I do that? Alright. Based on the little knowledge that I have, I try to comment this lap. Alright. Okay, so here <laughs> you can already see that I was spinning. Like I was playing probably touching too much the accelerator. I think that I was running a setup because as you can see like fourth gear was having a bit of uh, like a struggle. 
Uh, you can see like the precision is lacking. <laughs> of course you can get that great at the precision with the controller. But uh, here is a lot another spin. Like small spin I could I somehow did catch it. And I was already going a bit much faster actually than the ghost car. And right here I think I'm gonna do a mistake, like hit on something or wreck the car, I don't know. Oh okay, that was a bit of like almost was almost going to spin. <laughs> Well, I'm constantly looking at the back from what I'm seeing. And okay, I'm gonna yeah. I dis I ruined the car here. Like I wonder what I would have done like without breaking the car. Actually if you like break your car, like ruin it, I don't know, maybe the lap time will get cancelled. Uh, I don't know, I didn't I count it anyway. I'm very curious to see how I will do on the part 2 of the video. If uh, I'm sure I'm gonna be faster but not how much. Like I'm not a like amazing driver like I'm like I don't know. You have to judge. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Let's see. Oh my god, that sound effect. I, I, like, I just unlocked some memories of like me uh, looking on the internet to find this sound effect. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty sad. I have already that 2 minutes, 15 and 005 seconds. And this is the finish of the video. Like, this video was like edited decently. If I had a better computer at the time like I have now, I probably would have done a better job. Yeah, I was gonna leave a like, but it was <laughs> already liked by me. Part two of this video, we're gonna try to beat my time, even though I think it's going to be very, very easy. And uh, so I'm gonna go training. No, I'm just joking, but I'm gonna do something about it. So thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe to Potato Name Charlie, please.